ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to make the unit that you have been requesting for the last two weeks. The unit that you have been spamming my comment section with. The unit that you have been spamming my premiere chat with. And that unit hates this person right here has not hit the red subscribe button. You're probably part of the 87% who haven't done so. Hit the subscribe button. Join the murder of grows. Join the 12% is Sans. Now Sans is going to be a different interesting character to make and um, before you butcher me in the comment section about the pronunciation of Sans or Sans, I'm going to use both pronunciations in this video so all of you can calm down. It could be one way, it could be another way. We don't have an official pronunciation for Sans or Sans. I will call him Sans or Sans throughout the whole thing so everyone calm down. <laughs> Um, as I was saying, first things first, we need to make him into a hobbit. Because clearly, I'm kidding. Guys, I'm kidding. Calm down. He's a siffy. <laughs> He's a skeleton boy. And and Sans is not all that tall. We'll worry about the height later. But we have a picture of Sans. He's over here. He's a... He's a, a lovely little skeleton. He's very polite. He's very interesting. And um, unless you do the genocide route, then he's kind of a jerk. But we have certain features of our lovely skeleton here. We have the blue jacket, the black shorts, the, the pink slipper things, the white shirt, and that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot to Sans, not a whole lot to Sans, not a whole lot to our creation. So we're gonna go over here, we're actually gonna look for, oh, you know what, you know what's funny? I know exactly what to do for the feet. I, you know what I'm gonna do, you know what I'm gonna do? Uh, the bunny slippers. I mean, he doesn't have bunny slippers, but they're pink, okay. Before we go the bunny slipper route, maybe we can find other slippers. Maybe. I highly doubt it. Or footwear that kind of looks like slippers that we can color the correct color. <laughs> Bear claws. <laughs> the Renaissance shoes are pretty close. They're not too bad. I really want to give them the bunny slippers <laughs> just for the lulls. Legacy shoes are really close. They're actually legit close. Watch, take these, turn them into a beautiful pink. Like those are legit. They cover the toe, the rest of the foot's exposed. That's actually really, really good. We're gonna go with those ones. And now for the shorts, he needs black shorts. Do we have just regular old shorts in this game? Is that a thing? Well, you've got, actually, honestly, all sorts of shorts. His shorts go down past his knees. So can we find that? Shorts? Now go past the knees. Here we're on the tab G section looking through. These ones aren't bad, but they've got some weird pockets going on. If I get a white stripe down the side, we've we've won. That's like maximum win. And I don't know if shorts like that exist per se. No white stripes down the side. These dynasty pants are pretty cool. Oh no, they go to the knee. They must go past the knee. Uh, not those ones. Spooky pants go straight to the knee. We need to go past the knee. That's too far. Those are flood pants. We don't have flood pants. Ooh, the tab G pants. These tab G pants are kind of legit. They go right past the knee like on Sans. Fantastic. That's good. That's good. Now the proportions are wrong, right? Because Sans has a really big head and a tiny torso and stuff. We can't do that here in Toy Air Battle Simulator. We just have to make do with what we have. Now we need to find his lovely shirt. We could do a little legacy shirt, which is fine, but his belly's exposed, or his lack of belly. We can go down to the tab G shirt. That makes more sense. Now his torso is gonna be covered by the blue jacket, and that's actually gonna be, uh, white's too white. Yeah, that one, there we go. That's all bright and blinding. Ja no, not the best. You need, you need a blue jacket sweater of sorts, open chested, right? It's split down the middle, it has a hood. So if you can find a hoodie that's open, then you've won the game. Is there a hoodie that's open? You mean you've got these hoodies, right? That clip through these shirts brutally, right? If there's not an open hoodie, I mean, these are the kind of hoodies I like to wear, right? I don't like the ones that you don't zip up. I love the zip up hoodies better. They're the best, but I don't see one. I don't see one anywhere. The vest is kind of close to a zip up hoodie, but not quite. The tab G coat is kind of close, but Sans doesn't wear a belt. Going through every article of clothing, I'm not seeing the solution to this particular problem. You know, guys, the Tab G flak jacket is kind of the closest. No, because it's long in the arms. Oh, we need long in the arms too? It makes it even more complicated. Oh, you know what? This could be the fur of his jacket. Because in some of these images, that, that bit there is a bit furry. So hold on. Let's go with this for now. Maybe we can make use of this. Maybe we can make this work. If I can combine this with a sweater, we win. 
Like I could take this tab G coat, color it the blue that we need to color it, right? And the belt, we just kind of turn black to mask in with the pants. So what's going on here now is we've got the blue jacket. Problem is the jacket goes way too low. Son's jacket kind of ends at his thighs. His goes down to a close of his knees. A bit of a problem. You've got the white shirt underneath and you've got the furry jacket stuff going on. That's pretty good, but it's not perfect. But sadly, I don't know if we can get to perfect in this game, considering all the tools we have at our disposal. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the physical appearance of Sans. I don't know if we can add anything else to this to make it any closer to our lovely image. Comment down below and give me a score out of 10 is how well you think we did. Now for the attacks. As we know, as we all know, in the genocide runs, uh, Sans has a little, little certain, certain, something, something kind of attack. And he's kind of a jerk when he does it. So we're going to try and recreate something about that. We're going to try and recreate his gaster blasters that are these skulls that shoot laser beams. And I think the closest thing to that is going to be the necromancer's ability in this game. So I'm thinking we do ghost hands on each hand, right? Because then you've got this like otherworldly kind of move going on and the ghost hands should fire the necromancer's skulls or... Or do I find the necromancer's skulls and have them shoot laser beams? Ah, yes, if we can do that. How do I do this? How do I do this? I got a vision in my head of what to do. Let me go find the fireball. Oh, there we go. Now the fireball makes it seem like he's holding on to necromancer's skull. Now this is two skulls. That's incorrect. If we take it and we scroll down even further, we can find the single skull. Now it looks like Sans is holding on to the individual skulls that he uses to shoot the laser beams of his gaster blaster. Now we're talking guys in terms of stats. Well, we're going to give him a whole bunch of HP. We're not going to make him a meme. Tons of HP size. We're going to shrink him down because Sans isn't super tall like that. Fantastic. Weight is fine. Movement speed is fine. Attack speed. Oh, we will. People have been saying to put it like really low. So let's try 0.2. And see what happens and then we're gonna do some damage just give sun some extra damage i want to see him destroy some things now you know what attack speed 400 i want her to be a rapid fire cannon <laughs> he's gonna destroy things here he is sans in all of his glory complete with gaster blasters will anything be able to defeat him and his adorable pink little slippers we're gonna find out first up we have sans versus ash and pikachu was victorious he actually turned ash ketchum into a skeleton we're gonna take this wobbler and upgrade him into sonic the hedgehog i'm probably gonna break the game doing this but that's fine it'll, it'll be fine everything's fine and don't forget i uploaded yesterday's creation the uh the darth vader is now in the workshop just search my name so it's time for sonic the hedgehog and this is probably going to be one of the simpler creations i don't imagine he has a lot of clothes i mean if you take a look at sonic he's got his ears his head his hair his, his face, his, his body, some gloves, and some shoes. There's really not a lot involved with Sonic the Hedgehog. So I think I know exactly what we're going to do when it comes to the torso. It's actually a new piece of clothing. A piece of clothing we've never used before. And we have to scroll all the way down, all the way down, like all the way down to the bear outfit wait does this mean sonic has a tail just just ignore the booty tail okay <laughs> because the middle of this is perfect for sonic you take the coloring right you color this a beautiful blue we need to find sonic blue and it's not this one it's definitely not these ones i'm thinking right here is sonic blue as close as we can get and then you make the middle torso and you take it into like a yellow no that's too bright that's that's pretty good that's a pretty good yellow and the zipper also make that the same yellow and then this seam also make that the same yellow and now he's looking much more like sonic again please ignore the the booty tail <laughs> i'm getting sonic a tail now gloves that's easy that's super easy you just gotta find boxer gloves do we have boxer gloves any 
where hold on does he get boxer gloves if i equip boxer glove weapons let's go back go click on the weapons main hand try and find a boxer glove here boxer gloves can I, if i give him these can i color them if um that's the wrong glove on the wrong hand and then we'll go add that one that's much better fits much better though his hand is clipping through which i find to be really annoying now can i color it i can and, and these are a beautiful gleaming white sonic's gloves are just pure white now in the pictures you can see sonic's fingers but in this game um tab units don't have fingers so we do what we gotta do and then over here we will do the other hand don't don't do the right hand do the left hand left hand glove color everything white color everything well, that's black color everything white now his hands are poking through so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add i'm thinking the will nil gloves you know the, the fancy willy nilly will nigh the science guy gloves they're not coloring over these hands i need a way to cover up this blue it's really annoying kitty claws no crab claws no i need a glove that can cover those the inside palms because of the bear outfit the bear outfits claws are actually clipping through the gloves and that's really frustrating the problem is i don't think i have any gloves that will cover the hands. There's only two large enough to do the job. One's crab claws and one's kitty claws. Maybe take the kitty claws and if we color the entire kitty claw white, it might be able to hide it. It does. You do kind of see the shape of the kitty claw, right? If I zoom in, you can see the shape of the kitty claw through the glove. On the flip side, you no longer have white or blue hands. Blue, blue. they're blue hands. Or we just deal with the blue and we call it a day because I don't want kitty claws coming out of there. And maybe if I reset the character, the hands will fit in there properly. Body is done. Hands are done. Now we need the, the boots. We need the beautiful red running shoes. Are there actually sneakers in this game? There's bunny shoes. That's not what I want. Sneakers. Perfect. Though they don't look exactly like Sonic's. Because I mean, Sonic's got some big old booties going on there. He also has ankle warmer sock. Things? Are there like ankly warmer sock things going on in here? Am I lucky? I've got these. The Renaissance leg warmers. They're they're really tall. They don't quite work. I mean, I could take them. I could color them white, right? But they're really tall. Whereas Sonics are very short and stubby. They're like socks rolled down to the shoes is kind of what they look like. So again, if we come down here, we grab the red sneakers and we make sure the sneakers are all red. Also, why can't I get this red the same as that red? That's the default red that came with the shoe, but I don't have access to that red. Like I only got these like weird faded versions of red. That's weird. The red shoe, the white, ah, they're too tall. If I'm able to find, let's just one last look, one last look, try and find the ankle sized socks. If we do, hurrah. If we don't, well, so be it. You know, the Renaissance shoes kind of pull it off. Hold on, let me just check. Let me just check. Nah, uh, see if I could have taken that and made it white, but then you've got actually, you know what guys? That's not bad. That's that's not bad. But then why, why, why did the rest of that shoe go white? Did you see that? That was weird. Go to the test. Oh no, my shoes are red. Hey, hey, that's not bad. We've got the little ankle white things and then the red shoes. That's kind of legit not gonna lie yeah, not that sonic's gonna live through anything but now i want to fix this red and make the red match so now all the reds match with the yellow ring frill thing hey we'll take it bonus points okay i know you're looking at this unit and you're saying to me crow this this the bottom half looks like sonic but nothing else you're right we need to make the sonic head and there's one piece there's one thing here that will pull off the sonic look are you ready um probably not gonna be able to find it unless i type in the word hair because it's a piece of hair it's a specific very specific we're not talking wolverine sonic no 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 hybrids here i'm looking for a specific hair and it's this one it's the tab g <laughs> the tab g crazy hair it's fantastic and it has to be colored blue the same blue as everything else and we also have to hide the sonic face is his skin there so i'm thinking the balaclava which we've used oh, don't, don't. the unit's name is not balaclava i need to find the balaclava headpiece search balaclava take it and make it the same blue okay we're on to something he's starting to look like sonic but there's a little tiny red piece right there in his chest that we need to get rid of skin tight suit 
It's Kintai suit. Though, when he's a blue unit as opposed to a red unit, it looks perfect. <laughs> Torso, scroll all the way down and grab our wetsuit. Oh, the wetsuit clips. And the bone suit clips, darn. What about a t-shirt? Just a regular old tab G shirt eclipse. Oh, so I can't get rid of that little tiny patch of red when it's a red unit. I can't get rid of it easily. Now there is one thing missing from our Sonic and that's ears. He looks really creepy right now with no mouth and like the Sonic hair, but he has no ears. So search for, no, no, not in clothing. We need to go to the head types and we need to search for ears. Cat ears, I'm thinking these ones. Add the cat ears, color them the beautiful blue, the really good blue. Like that, okay, we're improving. It's coming along, but something's still missing. And I think I know how to fix this. Watch this, guys. We're gonna go, we're gonna search for um, something to cover his mouth. I need to give him his usual skin tone mouth, the same tone as the belly. See, if you look at the Sonic pictures, his mouth is the same color as the belly. Oh, the inside of his ears are also that, that, that skin color, I got this wrong. Is this yellow? Oh, it's better. Oh, it's so much better already. I need to change in blue because watching him blink with red behind is freaking me out. How do we give him a mouth? Can we do a bandana of sorts, a ninja mask, maybe something to cover his mouth and turn it the, the color we need? Where's, where's the dynasty section? Here's the dynasty. I take this and I, do that no it's weirdly clipping that's not the answer the tab g ski mask doesn't quite cut it oh the nurse mask take that color it like that that's you know what we're not gonna get much better than that <laughs> i mean because tab two characters don't have they don't have mouths right so we can't give them a mouth and we can't give them a nice little black nose for a sonic this is not terrible i mean it's a humanoid <gasps> What if he's a hobbit? I never thought to consider the hobbit body. Here we go. Turn him into a halfling. Ah! What happened to him? Oh my God, he's a monstrosity. <laughs> he's disgusting. <laughs> I, had to turn him, I had to turn him back. That was so wrong. What I will do is we'll quickly go into the stats and I'll give him a 0.5. Oh, nope, nope, too small. A uh, 0.7, point eight i think point eight is right that that looks better the hobbit was just a nightmare sadly i can't shrink his gloves right i can go over here to weapons and i can't adjust the stats on the gloves i can't shrink them so this is what we've got for now ladies and gentlemen comment down below and give me a score out of 10 telling me how well we did making the sonic the hedgehog unit considering we're limited by totally accurate battle simulators clothes. I think we did pretty good. It's not bad. Now for the attacks. We gotta be very careful here because Sonic can run really fast and he can punch really hard. That's pretty much his ability. Thinking back to my Smash Bros days of playing with Sonic and even way back in the day playing with Sonic. He can jump on things and in the Smash Bros world, he can punch really hard. So Super Boxer Punch, I think is up the alley of the Sonic. And I want to give him some nimbleness. I'm thinking a Jester dodge to give him a little bit of that movement. A super jump, because we know Sonic can jump, guys. He can he can jump really well. So the super jump. And then after that, I'm thinking we give him the night charge ability because he can close the distance very well with his spin up. And he can kick. Thinking back to Smash Bros, he's able to kick things. So I might give him the Taekwondo kick as well. This is where things get interesting. Hit points, we'll give him some zeros. Make him a bit stronger. Size, we set it. Weight, we're gonna leave it alone for now. Movement speed, this is the key. How fast do we go? We're gonna start at one speed, we're gonna test him, and then I'm gonna increase the speed and test him again. And I will continue to increase the speed and test Sonic until we find the right number. So we're gonna start with the times 40, and we're gonna see how well that goes. If it's good, we may increase it further. Here is our Sonic the Hedgehog and the coloring works as soon as you get close. I put him on the wrong side. He's got the red underneath. We're gonna move him over to the blue side and then take him for a spin. For our first test, I have gone to the simulation map to give him plenty of room to run and I've spread out some squires. I wanna see how fast he can go.
that was not nearly fast enough, we are increasing his speed. Movement speed from 40 times to 80 times. Test number two, 80 times movement speed. The kick was awesome, but he didn't go fast enough. From 80 times to 160 times. Test number three, 160 times. I think we've done it. I think we have found the perfect speed. We're going to take this wobbler and upgrade him into Naruto. And we have a few options of which way to take him. We can turn him into regular Naruto, but I'm not too interested in that. It's kind of boring. We can turn him into Sage Naruto. And this one seems way more interesting to me. And then finally, we could turn him into like the Nine Tails form Naruto, which is interesting. I don't think we have the glowy clothes to do it. So today we're going to do Sage mode and it's gonna be epic. Let's start with the clothes. First and foremost, if we can't find a headband, there's just there's no point. If you can't make a bandana, like a ninja headband for Naruto, you don't even have Naruto. Looking, looking, looking. We could find it in the miscellaneous. Uh, Dynasty, do we have just a simple headband? I've got the ninja mask, but that's not just the headband. So the Dynasty faction doesn't have a headband. This could be the shortest video I've ever made. We'll just like search for like, I don't know, bandana. Pirate bandana? No, the Tab G bandana? It's not bad. Tab G bandana. Not bad. Now I color it black. If I could just put the little plate on the front, it would be perfect. That's difficult to do. Now, hair. Naruto has the typical anime spiky hair. So for us, we could do the whole spiky hair thing. It's more Goku than Naruto. <laughs> hold on, hold on. If I take this hair, and I make it yellow. Okay, you know what? That's really not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, we've got Naruto's hair. Oh, 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 this bandana's way better. Oh, do we do this one? Or do we do this one? Oh, this one gives him hair though. Never mind. We're gonna stick. It's just. Uh, 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 uh. It's so hard to choose. Moving on, let's take a look at his cloak. He's wearing a cloak. It's red with black bottoms. I don't know if we're able to pull off the black bottoms, but I'm pretty sure we can find for him a red cloak, especially one that's open in the front and doesn't have a belt. I mean, this one is not bad, but it has a belt. Naruto doesn't wear belts. Then again, why don't ninjas wear belts? Aren't they afraid of their pants falling down? Well, after searching and searching, we are left with just the two options that had a belt. So we're gonna go with this one and we're gonna color it a very deep red. There we go. For now, that is going to be the sage jacket. Now, the sage has a black undershirt as well as orange, which is really weird combination. There we go. The black shirt. Nice and easy. Fantastic. Now for the orange pants. You know, this isn't going too bad. I expect it to be much more of a challenge. We're not too bad. Now, uh, Naruto is wearing some flood pants and he has this thing on his right knee. Can we even possibly find the thing on the right knee? I highly doubt it. Anything on these pants are always like symmetrical on either side, the same each way. So we need to give him some, uh, some flood, <laughs> some flood pants. That's pretty much what Naruto's wearing. And we'll make those the bright orange. Oh my God, those are bright and loud. Can we turn that down a little bit? My God, okay, it's a bit better. Not, but it still doesn't match the picture. Uh, fine, we'll go with the bright orange. Now he needs shoes that show his toes. This might be possible. Huh, Renaissance leg warmers. Those are bad. Those are not bad. They kind of give him the look. But now his feet are still kind of like exposed. He needs a second set of footwear. You heard me. He's going to wear two sets of shoes because we still need to have a bit more stuff around his feet. You know what? I think that will do for the Naruto feet. So this is the look of Naruto. Now, what we could do is he usually has a strap across his chest because he's carrying on the scrolls on his back. Sadly, there are no back scrolls in this game, but the chest strap 
is more than easily done in this, this game, period. I could use this as the back scroll. It's close. I mean, it's not really close, but it's kind of close. I'm going to be honest. I kind of want to give Naruto these ears just to make it seem like he's like partially turning into the fox. Oh, what if I took this sporty headband and made it like silver? It almost, almost looks like the steel portion of the mask. Like, look, it's kind of pulling it off. It's kind of pulling it off. Not gonna lie. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of our visual appearance for Naruto. Comment down below and let me know how well you think I did. Now move on to the fun part, and that is going to be weapons. Now, I think we have access to new weapons, which is very, very cool. Icicle throw. We have access to that. That's kind of neat, but not quite Naruto. Ghost hands. Which ones are these? Oh, those ones. It's kind of Naruto, but not quite. I'm looking for, I want to make a Rasengan. Like, let's get real. I want to make a Rasengan. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Can I replace this move with something else? The Necromancer's skull, for example. How does that look? I don't see anything. Yo, I just took the fireball and I turned it into the Necromancer's skull and take a look at that. I probably got two skulls there. Can I switch to the chakra room, switch back to the skull? I don't have two. Why, why are there two skulls? That's not right. There should only be a single skull. Oh, oh, I've done it. Look, he pretty much has a Rosengon in his hand. That is fantastic. Now there's something else, guys. There is something that makes it very Naruto. It's a little out of character, but the result is very in character. If we were to give Naruto the Monkey King staff, and I know what you're saying. Why is he using it? You'll see. Just trust me here, okay? We'll give Naruto some uh, projectile block. We'll give him a super jump. We'll give him a gesture kick, a nice charge, and a painter's dodge. Stats wise, we'll give him a handful of zeros. Nothing crazy. Size is fine. Movement speed, we'll give him a times five. We'll speed him up a little bit. And then attack speed, we'll give him a times 10. And then damage, we'll give him a times 10. We'll take a picture of our lovely ninja and then decide whether we want the staff or not. Get a picture nice and close on that headband. Fantastic. Let's take a look at our Naruto rocking the hair, the Rasengan, and the staff that will let him use Shadow No Jutsu, which will be fantastic. Let's see how well this works in combat. We will test him out against some squires. He leaps in. He has his staff waiting for... There it is! Shadow No Jutsu. He does duplicate. So while Nar... Why is the staff so long? Why did that staff get so... So long. Look at that Shadow No Jutsu with the Rasengan. That is fantastic, guys. So while Naruto doesn't use a staff, the staff does let him use Shadow No Jutsu. So now it's Naruto versus Wolverine as they collide in midair. Naruto throwing the Rasengan. His leg is, is stuck. Naruto is stuck. He was stuck. He leaps out. And Wolverine with the beautiful deflects of the Rasengan with his claws. Wolverine going in, trying to slash Naruto gets it in on the ankles. Wolverine has a bunch of HP, if memory serves me. And for Naruto, well, he's just, he's, he's just, he should have more HP. I mean, come on, this is Sage mode after all. He should have a bit more HP. Now it's Naruto versus Spider-Man. And this should be a lot closer of a fight. Naruto is able to deflect all the webbing and dodge it all. Spider-Man is also able to dodge, but the Rosengons, the rapid fire Rosengons are trying to convert Spider-Man who throws his webbing and Naruto continues to fight. This is <laughs> This is such a good fight. Those Rosin guns are doing damage to Spider-Man. Spider-Man is dodging. Spider-Man trying to use his webbing. Naruto dodging, deflecting the webbing. Um What? Is that what? Did the wheel break off of the house? What just happened? I am so confused right now. Oh no, it's still there. Now we're going to do Naruto versus Son Goku with the... Oh my god, Goku. Oh my god, Goku. Oh my god, Goku. That's gross. Now Naruto is going to fight Hobo Fred and Steve, who are our homeless duo. Hobo Fred on his trusty Mount Steve, getting hit by the Rasengan as Naruto jumps and dodges as Hobo Fred is throwing alcohol and trying to beat Naruto with his stinky day-old fish. No, Steve! Steve is down! Oh, right. Um, The Rasengan is the Necromancer ability, and as such, the Necromancer ability just turned Hobo Fred into a skeleton on Naruto's side. Apparently, Naruto has the power over life and death. I chose the, I chose the power because of its appearance. Not necessarily because of its function. 
Um, Naruto is unable to turn things into undead, but hey, we're gonna make Ash Ketchum and Pikachu. And you may be thinking to yourself, Mr. Krojak, are you insane? That's impossible. Oh, I'm about to show you how that's not impossible. And two quick things before we start. First, uh, the Black Panther is now in the workshop. Just search Mr. Krojak and you'll find it. And shout out to Yasmin Sandoval 10 for making this amazing little crow knight. I just searched my own name and I saw the knight. That's pretty cool. First things first, we're going to try to make Pikachu, which is probably going to be the hardest part. I mean, making Ash isn't too bad, but making Pikachu is a challenge. Now, how do we make a human look kind of like an electric rat? First and foremost, we need to uh, turn his body into yellow. And that's literally the biggest challenge. We could go wetsuit and take all the parts of the wetsuit and make it yellow like that. That's... I can't believe we're doing this, guys. This is so nuts. Okay, let's go grab the willy nilly will not the science guy gloves like that and make those a beautiful shade of yellow. And then we're gonna grab, I think it was the Wild West shoes. These ones, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Got it. Make these things yellow. Perfect. He's almost head to toe yellow. I guess we'll do the uh, the balaclava. Cover his face as much as possible and make that yellow because you don't want to see any of that well black no not black not black yellow okay we're on to something let, let, let's think about pikachu one he's short so we're gonna shrink this character down two he's got um pointy ears and he has rosy red cheeks i don't know if we're gonna pull off the rosy red cheeks let's, let's find some really big ears at the <laughs> do we make him a hobbit hmm hold on hold on hold on hold on halfling Oh, it's got the eye bug. It's got the eye bug. It's so gross. Oh, fix the halfling. Go back to the wobbler. Okay. Um, I'm going to make him shorter right now. Um, Half as big. He's half as big. Boom. Pikachu. <laughs> That's way better. Ears. 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 What kind of ears for Pikachu? What kind of, what kind of ears for Pikachu? What kind of ears? I mean, we could do bunny ears. I mean, because Pikachus are, are tall. He's got big, tall ears with black tips. Sadly, I don't know if I can pull off the black tips. I can make this all yellow. And he doesn't have inside of his ears. I can make those yellow. They're kind of correct, but not quite. But the problem is there's no other real option to do the ears for Pikachu. Okay, I guess we go with the bunny ears and a tail. How do I do a tail? Is there a tail? Monkey King tail. Can I color the tail yellow? <gasps> yes! I can color the tail yellow. <laughs> Look at her. It's so terrible. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> uh, okay. If I can somehow make his cheeks, I'm gonna zoom in really tight. Zoom in. Can I make his cheeks red somehow? Is this gotta be a way? There's gotta be a way to give him cheeks. I don't know if I'm gonna find anything that can actually, um, um Pikachu, what's wrong with your head? Why is your head going down? Yeah, yeah, this is everything. That's it. Hold on. Is there a detective hat for Detective Pikachu? No! Uh, spy, um, uh, private eye. Damn, I was hoping for a, a detective hat. That would be amazing for Detective Pikachu. I'll just search hat and do a quick little scroll down. Maybe we'll find a Detective Pikachu hat. Do you see one? I'm not seeing one, guys. I'm not seeing a detective. I see a cowboy hat and we have a cowboy Pikachu, but nope, no detective hat. So ladies and gentlemen, this is our Pikachu. Comment down below and give me a rating out of 10 because next up we're going to make Ash Ketchum. Well, after I do Pikachu stats, uh, Pikachu, couple zero, something crazy. Size is fine. Speed. Oh, you know, we get the movement speed up there at least a times 10. Attack speed is fine. Damage. We'll give that at least a times 10. Abilities. Well, the first ability you have to give Pikachu is thunder. I mean, Thunderbolt is obvious. And weapons. Now, what you could do is you could simply give him the Zeus lightning, right? Where, wherever Zeus is. No, not the double sword. It's Pikachu. Not Darth Maul. You could literally just put the Thunderbolt in his hand, but he's so tiny and the Thunderbolt is so big, it makes no sense. So what I might do is go and grab the Dark Peasant throw, because that shows nothing, and then make the Dark Peasant throw into the lightning arrow. No, not lightning arrow. Zeus's bolt. There it is. Zeus's bolt. There. Now his hands are firing Zeus's bolts and he's summoning lightning. Now Pikachu is very fast. He can use quick attack. He can use headbutt. So we'll give him a charge. 
for quick attack. We will give him lightning projectile block because it just makes sense. And then I might give him a little bit of a dodge, just a fencer dodge, nothing crazy. And then another Thor lightning so we can summon lightning twice as powerfully and twice as often. Take a picture of our lovely little Pikachu electric rat who just kind of looks like a yellow bunny, but that's fine. <laughs> This is all as good as we can go. Now we move on to Ash Ketchum. And I'm talking about the original TV series, Ash Ketchum. Might be a bit difficult, but we're going to try our best. First and foremost, can we find the, the blue kind of jacket thing going on? Let's look for, I need a green shirt. I need a dark shirt. So that's pretty easy. Uh, type in shirt. Scroll down. I just want like a, like a, a tab G shirt. Where is it? Tab G shirt. Kind of like this. Tab G shirt, and according to the picture, it is colored more of a dark kind of green going on like that. Perfect. Now we need a, a blue jacket of sorts. Let me just type in the word jacket and see if that comes up with anything. Uh, no, no, hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Apparently, I don't even need the t-shirt. Oh, this should be, oh, hold on. The flat jacket, okay. Flat jacket, this part is blue. Right, it's a beautiful blue, a bit of a lighter blue like that. This part is supposed to be the dark green. It can stay the dark green. And now, according to the Ash Ketchum picture, his arms are white. He has a, a, a part of his jacket is white. So if I hit the Tab G shirt and I make it white, now you can see the white of his arms. Interesting, not too shabby. Can we find some pants with a belt to give him a red belt that don't have knee pads, guys, because a lot of the pants have knee pads. We need to dodge that. Let's go down to the uh, the tab G section. I'm looking for pants and a belt that are kind of straight legged pants that go down to his ankles and are not flood pants. Straight legged pants with a belt. That's not bad. That's 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 actually kind of not bad. Ooh, that's even better. That's even better. Can I color the belt? Oh, I can. The belt is red. A beautiful red belt. Perfect with the gray buckle and the pants are more of a light blue. Because this guy hasn't gotten past the 1990s fashion of wearing light blue jeans. Who wears light blue jeans anymore? Just terrible. And then the silver belt. I'll go like this and make it a nice color of silver. Perfect. Wow, our, our Ash Ketchum is coming along fairly well. Shoes. He's wearing blue sneakers. Let's go and find him some blue sneakers. And it has white bottom. White bottoms. Look at that. <laughs> this is looking legit like Ash Ketchum. What a joke. This is amazing. Now, he has gloves on. I don't know if you can tell. He actually has gloves. Like a weird little green glove thing is going on. Are there fingerless gloves in this game? There's no way. One, our, our tabs units don't have fingers. So that's been an awkward, right? And I'm not seeing anything that can represent those <laughs> fingerless gloves. Maybe these? Maybe we'll do these and make these green. Why? Why is Ash Ketchum like a hodgepodge of colors? There's no, there's no consistency with his, his coloring or his theme. It's just all sorts of different colors. <laughs> okay, like that. Is that good? <laughs> okay, I, I might change the color cream. One second, one second. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. All right, so there's the Ash Ketchum gloves, the jacket, the shirt, the pants. It's all good. It's coming along. <laughs> the hat, guys. The hair and the hat. How do we do the hair and the hat? Um, I'm gonna type in hair first. We'll start there. I can spell. Be fantastic. I need Ash Ketchum hair. Black spiky anime hair. <laughs> oh my God. Is there anything like that in here? This would be legit. Okay, you know what? First, if I can find the hat and then find the hair that fits under the hat, I think we win. I need the hat either pointing forwards or preferably pointing backwards. A backwards ball cap would be an absolute win. Oh, oh, I searched for cap instead of hat and it came up with, there we go. There we go. And these backwards, backwards hat, backwards hat, backwards hat, backwards hat. Oh my God. We pulled, we found it. We found the Ash Ketchum backwards hat. <laughs> yes. But, um, uh, how do we, how do we do the hair for Ash Ketchum? <laughs> okay. We need to find the Ash Ketchum hair that doesn't poke out through the hat too badly and is kind of spiky. You know, this pirate hair doesn't clip at all. It actually looks clip, it clips nothing, not in the slightest. It's not perfect in terms of like the shape of the Ash Ketchum hair, but there's no clipping. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our Ash Ketchum. Comment down below and give me a score out of 10 on Ash. How old did we do? I think we did pretty darn good. Now for Ash's stats, hit points, 100. He, he's a regular kid. Size, one, he's, he's fine. Wait, fine. Wait, uh, speed, fine. Attack speed, fine. Damage, fine. Guys, he's a boy. 
He's just a kid. All of his power comes from his Pokemon. Attacks? Special abilities? Not a lot here. He can punch some stuff with his fists and um, he doesn't have any special abilities. Guys, he's just a human. Because what's going to happen is he's going to carry Pikachu with him. <laughs> he's worth 60 points alone. Boom! Ash Ketchum is done. Now we take Ash Ketchum, we edit Ash Ketchum, and we add a Pikachu. And Pikachu is going to ride with him. <laughs> no, Pikachu. <laughs> Okay, can I can I make Ash a little bit stronger to, to hold on to the weight of Pikachu, please? <laughs> I don't think Pikachu is small enough either, guys. He might he needs to be smaller. We will grab our now tiny Pikachu and put him on top. That's probably the correct height, though his legs are doing things that legs shouldn't be doing. <laughs> Actually, it might be a bit too small. Get the new Pikachu, put the new Pikachu on the shoulders. That's better. The legs are doing weird things, but that's the right size for Pikachu. We will go and save this, take a picture of lovely Ash and Pikachu, even if they're just glitching out like crazy. And now we take our new unit for a spin. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Ash and Pikachu. Ash is looking legit. Pikachu seems to have a bit of a twitchy leg, but he's doing okay. He's on the shoulders of Ash. I'm curious to see if he's gonna have the damage and the stats of a proper Pikachu. Let's find out. Ash and Pikachu versus a bunch of squires. Okay, Pikachu just cast thunder from the back of Ash Ketchum. Now, Ash and Pikachu are surrounded on all sides. I don't know what Pikachu is doing in the corner, but it's really weird. Ash and Pikachu versus Sonic the Hedgehog. the end of today's video thank you very much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it if you want to see more awesome videos click the links on the screen and as always guys thank you very much for watching